and welcome back with Dr. O to this faith and spirituality journey to develop that part of our lives to pass the greatest test of our life. Again, I have been helping people from all walks of life uh, to own and scale their faith to all the aspects of their lives. And to me, that's a fascinating thing because we need to find meaning and purpose in life. And faith and spirituality, uh, it's one of the ways, uh, perhaps the only way, uh, to be able to find that meaning and purpose in life. And we're here to share our faith journey. Uh, I have so much faith. I have so much faith in this uh, fascinating, proven system that I have discovered um, in my own way of learning faith and spirituality. Uh, to produce results, uh, and more importantly, to find purpose and meaning in life, which we all need that. So we're in a session of defining faith. The last part that we studied was that faith is substance. Um, faith is also evidence of things not seen. Uh, other words that you could use for that is uh, certainty, assurance, conviction, guarantee substance essence evidence or product all of that refers and relates to faith and we got to have a foundation in other words by faith we can experience something we hope even though we don't see that thing we hope at the moment uh, let me just give you an example that could be that could be uh, a, a person situation, like some of us might be hoping to meet the right partner. Um, and even though we don't see that person, we know by faith that that right partner exists. That's an example of faith applied to relationship. Let's apply faith to a job. Um, you're, you're hoping to have a, a great career. And even though you don't see that career, your hope and your faith sustain you and inform you that that's going to happen. So this aspect of faith in our lives is very powerful because it can produce dramatic, meaningful results in our life. I, I can speak about all kinds of faith applications and, and perhaps that's for another course. Uh, I wanna keep this course to the point and that is how do we learn and develop our spirituality journey so we can pass the test of our lives. And we'll talk about that as we go forward. Um, the second aspect that I want to tackle here on faith definition is the idea of the fact that we don't think of faith as something that we can measure. Um, we dismiss opportunities and people because we don't understand how faith works. Uh, one of the challenges that I, that I always think about it is, especially me as an engineer, a scientist, a person of science and study, um, I know we have developed science in almost every aspect of life. And life has become very predictable in many aspects of it. But when it comes to faith and spirituality, uh, we don't think that we have a handle on that. Uh, and I think that's, a, not a, that's not a good appreciation. Part of what this course is intended for is to bring some clarity in that arena. Therefore, um, for that purpose, we need to determine the fact that faith has a magnitude. In other words, we can talk about levels or sizes of faith, if you will. Um, faith can be quantified and faith can be qualified, right? I should correct here, quantify and qualify, okay, to make this right. In other words, we can we can measure faith in quantity, and we also can measure faith in quality. In other words, we can definitely know our personal level of faith of that of other people by the size, if you will, of the faith that they show. Um, it can also be said that faith has an amplitude, right? Faith has an amplitude. Um, and examples of faith, um, quantities are, for instance, little faith, right? 
I have a little bit of sugar, I have a little bit of salt. That little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt could be one ounce of salt and one ounce of sugar. All right. The other uh, quantity that we can think of is mustard seed faith. Um, if you know the mustard seeds, they're very tiny. Uh, they're probably milligrams tiny, but you can measure the volume, the mass, and the weight of that mustard seed. And then we can think of faith as a ton of faith, right? Uh, that will be great faith. Therefore, we've introduced the concept here that faith can be uh, both qualitatively and quantitatively measured. When it comes to quality of faith, we can think of three levels, if you will, of faith quality. Um, for instance, we can say weak faith, and that is a faith that is really not very strong. Uh, the next level of faith will be firm faith, and the upper level of faith will be strong faith. Uh, I have to think about this concept of faith quality when I consider, for instance, uh, the strength of a material, right? There are materials that are pretty weak, that you can, e you can easily break down, right? They're not good materials for certain purposes. There are some materials that could be firm, um, but still, and there will be some materials that are very strong. An example of that is, um, think about jelly. Jelly is pretty weak, right? It's pretty weak, right? That will be uh, an example of weak faith. Um, but then think about hard cheese. Hard cheese is pretty firm, right? Is it not? So that's another another level of you know quality of those materials. And then the third level will be um, metals like aluminum or copper or steel. They are very strong. And therefore, this idea of weak materials, firm materials, and strong materials um, can be paired up to talk about the qualities of our faith. We could have a very weak faith. That means mm, we're always doubting things in life. We could have a firm faith. Uh, that means that faith is steady, uh, but maybe not uh, a strong faith that can withstand all the challenges and opportunities that we have in life. Therefore, faith can be quantified and faith can be qualified. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Thank you.